Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to go over the top four features that are in macOS Sequoia. So let's start by talking about iPhone mirroring. So iPhone mirroring is a new app that is on the iPhone that allows you to mirror your iPhone screen right on your Mac. And it doesn't just let you view your iPhone screen, it lets you actually control it too. So eventually in the future, we'll also be able to drag and drop, which I'm really excited to try out, but will be available in a later update. So to do it, you might have to go through a little setup process in the beginning, but once it's set up, it works very seamlessly and it keeps your privacy secure because your iPhone screen remains locked and is black. So you don't see nothing on the screen. So it looks like nothing's actually happening, but in reality, you can be doing a lot of work. Who knows? So let's start off by opening iPhone mirroring. It'll say connecting to iPhone 15 Pro Max or whatever device that you're using and you can control it and any audio um, input will come through your Mac speakers. So that's pretty nice as well. And with this feature, you also get your iPhone notifications as well, which is very convenient to whenever your iPhone isn't nearby. But right now I'm currently controlling the iPhone straight from my Mac. If I want, I can open music. You can see music right now. You can even play audio. I'm not gonna do that because I don't wanna get copyright strike, but you can do it. But you can do just about anything you want. You can message people, you can open the settings, it's it's pretty nice it's nice to have it's gonna be convenient especially once we get file drag and drop and i'm doing all this right now with my iphone currently locked so these buttons up here also allow you to do different things like going to the home screen or opening the app switcher next feature i'd like to talk about is window tiling so if you're a windows user you may have known that windows has tiling options for different app windows where you can just snap them to the sides of the screen or the pull it up all the way to the top for full screen. Well, now Mac OS Sequoia brings that feature to the Mac. So as an example, I'm gonna have two windows here. I have a Google window and I have a notes window. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag one of these windows to the corner of the display and you can see this highlight that occurs. So if I push all the way, it'll just snap to the side and I'll do the same thing over here. And now both windows are tiled. And what is nice is if I move this window out, it remembers the size I had before which is very convenient because now you don't need to resize your windows the way you had before. And you can tile more than one window. And if you want to see all the options for tiling you have, just hold option as you um, drag a window and it will automatically lock in and you can just easily move your windows to the sides. So this is a feature you can mess around with and see what works for you, but it's nice to see that Apple has added that as an option. The next feature I'd like to talk about is Safari highlights. So macOS Sequoia, Safari now has a new feature called Highlights, which will allow Safari to pull useful, important information for you in a small bubble window. And so you won't have to dig through a page to find info like, for instance, hours for a hotel, its location, its phone number. All that information can be piled into one section without you having to work hard for it. So if we open Safari here with this example web page, um, it's the firmware update page for AirPods. So you're gonna notice this new button in the address bar that has those purple sparkles. Those purple sparkles indicate that this page has a summary. So if we click on it, you'll see this little pop-up window. And this little pop-up window can give me a quick summary about the article I'm looking at without having to read all the information on a page. So you'll know as a website has it just because of these purple dots. Just keep in mind that not every web page has it, but slowly I've been noticing more are starting to have this feature. The next thing I like to talk about with macOS Sequoia is the new iMessage features. So with iMessage, we got plenty of new features and let's start by talking about the new reactions. So we all know that we've used reactions before in the past, but Apple has redid them. They have a new fresh design and we can also use emoji. So everything has been freshened up and if you wanna use any emojis that you want, you just click this button here and then select the emoji that you desire. And we also now have RCS support, which will give us a better um, messaging experience between Android and iOS users. So that's gonna be a nice thing to have. I do cover that more in depth in my iOS 18 overview video. So I recommend checking that out if you wanna learn more about RCS. We also have um, the ability to schedule a message to send later. So you can type whatever message you want, send it, and your Mac will wait to send it until the time you select. And a cool touch is if I do change the hour, the little clock icon will also indicate it as well. 
Another cool thing I forgot to mention is that there's now a new feature called text effects and we also got text formatting. So let's say I have this little message here that says test and if I right click on it, you can now add text effects. We have a couple here and I'll probably just do small just to so give an example. So as you can see, the words test have shrunk and if we try another one, there's one called ripple and now the text here should ripple as they go across the screen. So it's a nice little touch if you want to add some personality to your messages. You can also add text formatting like bold, or you can do italicized. You can even do underlined or all at once. So that's a nice thing you can do. And it can add some more emphasis on your messages when you send them. This will also be available on iOS 18. So another feature that I do want to mention but isn't coming out until next month with macOS Sequoia 15.1 is Apple Intelligence. This is probably gonna be one of the biggest new features coming to Sequoia, and it's gonna make it a very exciting update. There's plenty of new features regarding writing tools, image generation, emoji generation, and the new Siri, which is probably one of my favorite things that I'm excited for. But to run all this stuff, you will need an Apple Silicon Mac and later, only for the Apple Intelligence part, you don't necessarily need um, Apple an Apple Silicon Mac to run Sequoia just for the Apple intelligence features. But when this comes out, it's gonna make um, using the Mac a lot easier. It will help you in your everyday workflows or just making it more fun to use because there's a lot of new things within emoji generation and creating your own images. So that's gonna be very fun to play with. But this will not be with the initial release. So Mac OS Sequoia will be releasing on the 16th of September. As we're recording this video, it is September 10th. I am running the Mac OS Sequoia RC build, which is basically the final version, but beta testers get it a week early. So you should be receiving that update around when this video releases. Also forgot to mention, if you do want to learn more about Apple Intelligence, I will link a video that I made regarding it, and I will also link this webpage from Apple in the video description down below. Anyways guys, thanks for watching this video, hope you find it useful, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.